Asia is fantastically interesting because one of the most important things for happiness is to be social, to be engaged, to communicate with others. And now that we increasingly do so through social media, then of course social media is going to have a big effect on how we do it and, and how it will affect our happiness. My name is Yannis Söröker, I'm an assistant professor at the Department of Philosophy, University of Twente. My main research is information technology and how it affects our happiness. So positive psychology is a very new field. It started just in the late 90s. Uh, and it was basically psychologists who got fed up with only looking at depression and mental illness and the negative sides in life. Like what makes us happy? So they started researching this field and now we start seeing really interesting results about what kinds of activities that tend to make people happy. Uh, being social tends to make you happier. Being an ethical person tends to make you happier. Um, but there are also some counterintuitive findings. For instance, uh, winning lots of money in the, in, in the lottery is not going to make you much happier. One of the things that really makes people happy is to share their experiences. So if something positive happened to you or something negative happens to you, uh, it actually affects your happiness more whether you have the ability to share that with somebody close to you. So in that sense, it seems like new media is fantastically good news because now you can share things much more easily. Uh, but as it turns out, there needs to be a genuine response when we share. And for those of us who grew up without Facebook, we were require sort of a physical expression of emotion or something like that. But for younger generations, it actually seems like a Facebook like or a retweet does a lot of the same thing. So whether or not social media is meaningful, whether or not it makes us happy, to a large degree it's about the individual and, and how that individual grew up. So another thing coming out of this positive psychology research is that the people who tend to rank their lives as the most happy and the most meaningful are the people who, first of all, have figured out something they're really good at, and second of all, feel like they use that for a purpose that they find meaningful. Uh, and ultimately this is why ethics is so important as well, because not only can engineers make the world a better place by, by being more ethical, they can make themselves so much more happy as well by feeling like they use their programming skill, their engineering skill, by, to make the world a better place. I like to look at empirical research and what tends to make people happy. And then I try to take that research and responsibly translate that into technology and see whether technology can and should do the same things that make us happy in real life. So for instance, the technologies we have now are very sort of fragile. So the things that we do now in a virtual world or with any kind of technology are typically things that are gone a few years. It won't make a lasting change to the world. And that is typically the kinds of thing people find meaningful when you make a lasting change to the world. So what I'm really looking forward to is when we start having virtual worlds that are eternal, virtual worlds where you can make a change now and people can see it 100, 200 years later. Uh, someday the technology is going to be there. Uh, someday we're also going to get real virtual reality with actual goggles and actual body gestures and so on. Uh, and then we're ready for a whole new set of interesting ethical questions.